Hold on to your chairs, boys and girls. It's time for another exciting episode of Vlog O Matic! Hi there, my YouTube friends. This year at the Garlic Festival, I had the good fortune to encounter Gene Burns from KGO Radio doing his live show, Dining Around. We joined Gene and his crew at the KGO Radio broadcast booth next to the Garlic Stage at the Garlic Festival, uh, where he is in commercial break at the moment and relaxing with his crew and uh, the winner of the 2008 Great Garlic Cook-Off. Uh, he will be interviewing her during the last segment of his show, Dining Around, which is broadcast Saturday morning between 10 and 1 on KGO Radio, 810 on the AM dial in San Francisco, California. Thank you. Time now is 12.46 on Dining Around with Gene Burns. We should have opened this segment with trumpets. This is the first public release outside Christmas Hill Park here in Gilroy of the winner of the 2008 Gilroy Garlic Festival Recipe Contest. We are joined by the winner of the contest who was just announced to the crowd here, uh, Lori Benda. Lori is from Madison, Wisconsin, and uh, she has won for a very interesting dish uh, that you might not have thought of, which is no doubt <clears throat> why she won, because she did think of it, and that is a walnut garlic torte, and boy, is it good. It's Lori, welcome to the program. Thank you. And there you are with your garlic crown, and you're, oh, you're yeah. good to go, and your, your ribbon and your t-shirt. Boy, they don't wait a minute, do they? To, <laughs> to, so, what, had you known about the garlic festival before this year? Um, not much before this year, no. Yeah. How'd you bump into I it? I kind of heard about it, and then um, and then I heard about the contest, and that's, I don't even know, you know, it's just something out there. You wouldn't, you'd be amazed at how many people know about the Gilroy Garlic Festival, even after the last Oh, no, no, I, I mean, yeah, it's a, it. it's a granddaddy of yeah. food festivals. Oh, yeah. Are, are you a contest enterer in food? Do you do that a lot? or? I've just started doing it uh, in the last year or so. I had entered a few in the past, but in the last year or so I've entered a few, a few more than that. Yeah. Now, wh when you decided to enter the Gilroy Garlic uh, Cook-Off, uh, did, did you have in mind already what you might do? or And how did you center, settle on a dessert rather than something else? Well, I really like to bake, so I wanted to try a dessert. I thought it would be interesting to see what I could do with it. And I didn't know if any of desserts would been here before, what the history of it was. So, um, caramel just sounded like the thing to go with garlic. Mm -hmm. to, try, to try that. So I started out with the idea of the pecan pie, going with the nutty quality of roasted garlic, and then just spun out from there. But I mean, obviously, whether you did it deliberately or not, it was a smart move. That's a category in which you could expect not as much competition as you would say for a a salad or a main course or whatever, uh, very few people would think. And of course, that's one of the great things about garlic. People forget that there, re there are really two garlics, the one you chop up fresh, which is very pungent, and roasted garlic, which has a very creamy, nutty flavor. Uh, and is that what you did? You roasted the garlic and then mixed it with the caramel filling? Well, no, actually, there's roasted garlic in the crust, and there's um, roasted ah. garlic infused into the whipped cream that goes with it. But there's um, sliced raw garlic and walnuts mixed into the caramel filling. So it's sliced very thinly. It gets cooked a little bit because of the hot filling, but it's right. really just, it's just right out there. Oh, 
see now, I, I, I immediately thought roasted garlic, but you, so you've got roasted garlic in the crust, you've got roasted garlic in the whipped cream, and then thin slices of, of raw garlic in the filling of the, of the tart. Yep. And that cooks, but not completely. Just probably just a little bit. It gets mixed into the butt kernel after it's right. so, wait, so you get little bursts of garlic flavor. With right, it. right. They, they meld with the nuts. You, you never know exactly what you're biting into. Right? Really? What did the judges say about uh, about the entry? What, what impressed them? I haven't heard anything yet. Oh, is that right? <laughs> no, oh, well, I can't yeah. wait to find out. Well, uh, and uh, it's, it's quite an honor. They're, they're, you're one of eight contestants. Were there any other desserts? Uh, not, the, not in the not in the, not year. in the eight. There was a creme brulee that's a, so that's on that, but it was a savory creme brulee. Ah, not not. And, and yeah, Sorry. exactly. <laughs> so in in a way, you're sort of uh, you've won right out of the box here. Your first uh, yeah. try. Yeah. yeah. That's it's terrific. Like a, it's very, it's really, it's really thrilling. Yeah, it's yeah. great. It's great. Had you been to Gilroy before? No, I haven't been to this place. Mm -hmm. Isn't this a remarkable thing? There are 100,000 of your closest friends. Yeah. 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 That's cool. Can't wait to see the rest of the festival. That smells like stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you had a waiting room, of course, garlic ice cream. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you have to give it a try. And what do you do in Madison? Uh, what's your profession? Or? I teach writing at a, a community college. Oh, do you really? Oh, terrific. What college? It's Madison Area Technical College. Madison Area Technical College. And t is it professional writing or creative writing? Uh, uh, mostly professional writing and academic writing. Academic writing. Yeah. Terrific. Well, congratulations on a big win and also on a great dish. I had a taste. It's really terrific. Thank you so much. Thank, thank, you. thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Lori Bender, no. she is the winner huh. of the Gilroy like Garlic the Festival 30th oh, Anniversary Edition oh, Garlic oh, Cook-Off oh, with her oh, walnut oh, caramel right garlic there. tart. Roasted garlic in the crust and in the whipped cream, which is on top, and uh, a very gutsy lady. She put sliced raw garlic in the caramel nut filling, uh, so that and that partially cooks when you bake the tart, so you get bursts of garlic flavor, and the judges like it. So she's got her garlic crown and her plaque and her badge, and uh, she's ready to enjoy the rest of the uh, garlic festival. And we will conclude our live broadcast of the 30th Annual Garlic Festival here in Gilroy. You're listening to Dining Around with Gene Burns on KGO. Thanks, Larry. Terrific. You're Thank Thanks. You. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. If you, uh, have company, AIG Joel, we AIG if Direct you want to take uh, Gloria's name and address, we can send her a CD. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just, call one Just email Joel and Gloria. Here we are at Flame Alley. This is where the action happens, ladies and gentlemen, at the Gilroy Garlic Festival. These are the gourmet garlic chefs that uh, cook here every year and they create culinary delights of many kinds. Uh, go to the Garlic Festival website at www.gilroygarlicfestival.com to read about this year's successful festival as well as, as uh, find out more about these wonderful chefs and the, the food that they prepare here every year. This is quite an event. Lots of people gather here at the, at the, the viewing area where they watch them cook their uh, dishes of calamari and uh, uh, shrimp and so forth all bathed in luxurious garlic sauces and when they put that in it makes a big flame and that's why they call it Flame Alley. This is the show folks. This is the show of the Gilroy Garlic Festival. This is where it happens. So have uh, some fun looking at this uh, wonderful cooking experience here and uh, uh, come back again visit my channel. Please subscribe and rate my video. Thank you.
This has been a Hugusamus Films production.